What's going on, Brodies? Lovely ladies, we back at it again. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Money Back Shorty coming at y'all with another reaction video. This one kind of special though. Bro, Tommy G is in my neck of the woods where I personally grew up at. Not this necessary neighborhood though, but they in the area where I grew up at, Prince George's County, Maryland. Um, I grew up in Landover, Maryland, and some and see Pleasant, Maryland. Uh, this is, he uh he went out Suitland. Big fly. I actually went to Suitland for like a week. Though. I went to Suitland High School for a week. Then they transferred me to Wise. Cause if you know, you know, uh, Forsville, they was in the middle of both, and they didn't know where to where to. You know what I'm saying? Send us at. Like I was, I was living in the real tourist at the time, and uh, they didn't know if, uh, if the send us. That's right on Marlboro Pike. So if they wanted us to send us to Suitland, they didn't know if they wanted to send us to uh, Wise. I'm glad they sent us to Wise though, cause Wise had the bitches. They was popping. Wise had them fine ass girls in there. I had a great time. I ain't even gonna hold you. We about to hop into this shit though, man. Oh, this shit gonna bring back so many memories of my childhood. You did. G. And you I'm did. in PG right before now. Before we get it started, though. Before we get it started, though. Gotta uh hit the subscribe with the noties on. He definitely in them trenches, though. For sure. He he most definitely in them trenches. Well, Suitland, it's all right. It's all right. It's, not, it's, like, it's, like, it's like, see, it's like, well, Merlin... It ain't really like no no gangs or nothing like we. It's just neighborhoods. It's like cliques and crews and stuff like that. Even within the neighborhood, because you might be up top or you might be down bottom. So it just depends. Let's get into this shit though. We big fly. Y'all already know the f going on Max Blocks One Eight Seven. Oh my mother's going to f down. Make sure y'all tune in right now. Yeah, I swear, bro. I bro look like. I don't know. He probably did. Bro look like the dude. He, he look like a dude I went to wise with, bro. He did. He definitely looked like Slim. Short nigga. Had, he had the beard in high school. We was like in the 11th grade, bro. He got the, he got the fight in some big, tall, like some big tall black nigga in the gym. We was in gym class and shit, playing ball and shit. And I don't know what the, I don't know what happened. You know how niggas be fouling and shit. And that shit was, I, that's who he looked like, though. What's going on, fellas? What's up, man? Is this a hot area? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, it's hot for who make a hot type shit. You made so. a song called The Black KKK. Tell us about that. Tell us, I'm sorry about white dudes. <laughs> it's a fact, bro. This how we this how we grew up, bro. Like if you was I grew up like when I was around C Pleasant, bro, when I was when I was both of my, my sister and my mother live like right at like she live in one apartment building. My other my sister live in the next apartment building. My sister was living there first. She like at certain times they would have two security guards. Walking around on foot, walking around the whole neighborhood all day. And motherfuckers, st shit still went on. Because at the end of the day, they, 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 out, they outnumbered. There's too many, it's too many of us out here. It's too many. Probably a good idea to avoid uh, doing a big flock this. Today, folks, I take you to the most gangster place you've never heard of, Suitland, a city in Prince George County, Maryland. This is an area that's been plagued with violence and shootings. According to police, murders in Prince George's County are up by more than 50% compared to the same time last year. Yeah, every time I do call home, my mother call, or like, I call, I talk to people and shit like that, they be like, shit, like, shit's still up. At night in tonight in Prince George's County, at least three people dead in separate shootings there. A 16 year old now facing attempted murder charges after a shooting right outside of Suitland High School in Prince George's County. Police are investigating 16 years old, bro. 16 years old. It's crazy. Crazy. A shooting that killed a 19 year old. Police are investigating a double shooting near Suitland High School. We're going to begin in Prince George's County, where a murder investigation is underway right now. One of Suitland's most famous residents is gangster rapper Big Flock. Flock has collaborated with guys like 21 Savage, ESTG, and Pooh Shiesty. This is what he sounds like. Niggas sketchy, I don't know who to rock. I be slanging that lead like I'm doodle ball. I was stuck in that set, I ain't know who to call. In 2017, he was sentenced to federal prison for drugs and firearm. See, by the time, that's see, by the time. All this happened, I had already moved down Alabama, bro. I moved down Alabama, like, I graduated 2010. Shit. I, I ain't moved down here till probably, like, 2013, maybe. 2013. 
But he, oh, he, oh, his shit stopped popping up once I already been gone type shit. Charges. Ever since he like, got home, he's Lizzie been dropping Lizzie and Trill was popping slappers. by when I was still Today, at home. Today, he takes us through his hood, where we meet his crew, and I end up making a song with him. So stick around to the end to hear that. Ladies and gentlemen, let's begin today's episode. Nice to meet you, man. How you doing, bro? Good, boy. How yeah. So tell the people where we are right now. Uh, we on Max Block right now. We, it's two parts of my hood. We got um Andrew Man on this side. We got Allentown. I'm from Allentown for real. But we all one hood. It's one big drink. It's my building. I told you it'd be like a like a up top. Then it's like a down bottom. I ain't really like I ain't never really like been there, like I ain't never really like chill around Suitland and shit like that. You feel what I'm saying? Like I was on a Suitland on the other side of Marlboro Pike when I was living on Marlboro Pike, like my 11th grade to my 12th grade year. I was motherfucking. I was. I was motherfucking. I was living in Darrell Terrace. Darrell Terrace close to like the Forestville side, like close to where like. Uh, Forest Creek, all that. It's the whole creek. Like, all that shit. That's where I was at. Like, close to that side, but Jai, like, nah. The Road Church was his own little thing. But we was, like, oh, if you living on Marlboro Park, you were supposed to go to, like, Suitland until they, they built wise and shit. Had us going all the way out up a Marlboro and shit like that. I'm glad, though. They had the bitch. Well, but... What's going on, fellas? Yeah, yeah. What's up, man? So, when I look up the, the county Prince yeah, George, it right? sounds like a fancy place. Mm -hmm. uh, Is that a good interpretation? Definitely, most, no? <laughs> I mean, it most depends, definitely you know, not. Like, everybody probably got a rich part of the county. That's like, a fact. Everybody got a Prince, project too. Prince George is, is like the more dominant, like, I'm going to say black successful families. Yeah. It's a high percentage. We got like a high percentage. So what's the lingo around here? Like, what are some words that people use? Scrappy dude. Shit ba. Shit ba. Shit ba. Can you use that in a sentence, please? All right, so don't ask me a question. Right, tell me, tell me that you just pulled up. I just pulled up. All right, shit ba, I'm about to come get you. Shit ba, okay, like, all right. It's almost like, all right, 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 my girlfriend or my wife texts me, uh, come upstairs, winky face. I say, shit ba. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woolite protects your favorites from fading, pilling, and stretching. Woolite, protect what you love. With the help of the joint, I can immediately feel physical and mental sense of relief. And that's one of the best feelings in the world. What's up, what's up? You're see, cool I'm, I'm, I'm trying to see. Like, I don't really... They, they are... I, I think they are security guys. I don't think that's 12. Uh, are those actually... No, they call they call special police, but they not really like. Um, yeah, just they for not, the area. Yeah, just yeah. for Because we were in old block, they also have police like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Is this a hot area? Yeah, pretty much. It's, it's, a, right, it's, it's a I'm, it's a red zone, bro. Like where he at is a red zone. C Pleasant Merlin is a red zone. Red zone is like high drug infested, high murder rates, high Fairmont Heights over there by Scraper Shop. That's a that's a uh, that's a red zone. Glen Willow, all that shit going down Marlboro Pike to motherfucking. Forestville, the creek, all that, where they sell, I ain't about to say all that, but like, yeah, bro, like all that shit, red zone. For who make it hot type shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you gonna hear this all day, like, you always gonna hear that. Sirens are always in the background. All day. So what is it like growing up in a place where you always are hearing sirens? Oh, you get used to stuff like that, for real, yeah. for real. Yeah, you just get used to it. Yeah. It's like, it's what you grow up to. You hear that grow shit when you small, yeah. when you get older, it's like, muscle memory. So you've been out for more than three years then, right? Yeah, um... As Big Flock was being sentenced, he wrote a letter to the public sharing his thoughts about going to prison. I'm going to share with yeah, you... Yeah, when, when he got out, bro, like, that's when I got on to him. Like, I had seen an interview of, bro, and, like, he, he really, like, he really said some real shit that would be going on in, like, in the city, like, in D.C. and Merlin. We all the governor and shit. Virginia job like out there but like people think of Mer Merlin is a high bigger state because you got Baltimore Baltimore is is its own entity like Baltimore they got their own style their own lingo it's similar to us but it's totally totally different got their different hood all that how they talk all that compared to Pitch George's County we closer to the DC side so all of our lingo and DC is kind of the same most important parts of the letter so you can get into like the mind be of a man like, that's hey, incarceration. Yeah, First, like that, he's all painfully that shit, aware bro, that he may have lost out on a lucrative music career by having to put his music on hold for 45 months. And as a kid who grew bro, up missing like, his dad who was in prison for a murder charge, he knows firsthand the struggles his two-year-old daughter will face growing up without a dad. What did you learn about your time in jail? The main thing I learned was how to judge real, real from fake. Like the main thing. Is this a place you grew up as well? What have you learned? And what have you learned in your time here? I'm BG187, man, you know. I'm an upcoming rapper, you know. I'm an nice. entrepreneur also. But I learned from, you know, just growing up that the best business is to mind your own. You live longer. Yeah. And number two, just get your money and stay out the way. The females gonna have you late. Mm. Niggas gonna hate on you. Get your money. So what did you learn, like, when you saw him go away for a bunch of months? Like, what did that 
What were your reflections on that? It's like, it's a lesson, but you don't, you don't really learn until you go through it yourself. What do you say to all the kids that are listening to Gain Trap but maybe haven't had experienced the consequences that also come with that lifestyle? Man, I say, for real, for this ain't even the life y'all want to live, for real. If you ain't got- Tell them again, Slam. Tell them again. Like, if you, if something on the side, my, 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 get you something real quick, Slam. Cool. But like to make that, you trying to make that shit a career, bro, that shit, bro, hell nah, bro. Fuck no. Eventually some shit gonna happen to you, bro. If y'all, if y'all, if y'all really fuck with me and y'all want me to do some story times, I tell y'all some shit, me personally and me being out there, bro. I ain't got a cap for no fucking body. You could call my mother, you could call my father. All my past stories of me being where I was at doing what I was doing, bro. And I'm not proud of the shit. But I got some stories for y'all if y'all really want to hear them shits. I live this life, don't live it. Just stay in school and get y'all money. Right, Do YouTube, but does anyone stream on Twitch, yeah, try yeah, kick, yeah. they call you oh, sell clothes. Yeah, she on my line because my eyes brown. She bent <laughs> over and I knocked her down. Her dude a fed, he a super clown. He wind her down when he on dates. He asked for head, I fuck her face. <laughs> <laughs> it's always what it every hood, bruh. Like my man, my man, chicken and shit. They they be around motherfucking Trinidad and shit. Uh, it's always one. Of, it's always somebody like that, bro. Who gonna be live? Who gonna be funny? Who gonna keep shit like he? Everything that's going on around you, bro. It's good. They 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 lower. What's the word I'm looking for? They lower your senses a little bit to the point of where though you're not really focused on everything going around you because shit could happen so fucking fast, bro. Rolling onto the scene is my dear friend Brandon Buckingham, and for some reason today, he decided to wear a sweater. And speaking of fashion, we launched a limited edition t-shirt. Me and Brandon are boots on the ground journalists kicking mainstream media's ass. Link is in description. Back to the video. What's up, bro? I do have a question for you. What's up? You made a song called The Black KKK. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tell us about that. You know what I'm so right about white dudes. What's up? It's like that black. I don't know, bro. It was really just a ball on that joint for real, for real. That was be the Black KKK because we hate niggas. We don't be f***ing with niggas like that. Every time we do f***ing with niggas, something bad goes down. Yeah. That's a fact. That's a fact. Until, until like, niggas, we could work together and generally want to see each other win and, and genuinely not step in the way or do some you people motherfuckers be knowing what they be doing, bro. When you when 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 that when that clout start coming, when them eyes start coming, them views start coming. You feel me? Like if you if we not trying to make ourselves look good, both of us like brothers go ahead with the bullshit, bro. Cause that's all that shit is. You fucking up my shit. I'm gonna be fucking up your shit. It's like what? Come on, bro. We men. We men. So what advice do you have to the young guns that are going crazy right now? Because we have people in Milwaukee, teenagers, that are 12 year olds that have stolen 100 cars, yeah. 200 cars, and they're going fucking crazy. Tell you, Kia boy. Yep. <laughs> How do you reach those guys? Oh, you can't, man. I mean, shit. I, I just, that's, to be honest, that's not my job, for real. That's, that's what they fact. parents. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's some parental shit. They need to just go ahead and handle <laughs> I tell my folks that shit all the time. They be telling me their story about what's going on and whoop de whoop de whoop bro. Like, bro. I ain't got no kids, and I ain't. I mean, I could tell. I could. I could. I could show you the way, but I really can't tell you, Slim, because my, motherfuckers ain't gonna listen to what the fuck you got to say if they don't really. If they ain't rocking with you, if you ain't got that reach, they you just talking, bro. And you ain't. You don't know their circumstances and none of that shit. That shit crazy. They business as a part. So you feel like parents not doing their job is the reason we got kids? Oh, man, it can't be. Niggas sketchy. I don't know who to rock. I be slanging that lid like I'm doodle ball. I was stuck in that cell, I ain't know who to call. Dressing out cause they cut them computers off. We ain't talking about food, blow you up like a soup. That just mean that we knocking your noodle off. So you gotta talk to a bunch of middle school kids that were choosing, hey, which direction am I gonna go? And they're considering going the street route. What would you tell them? I'm gonna go back to my middle school. I mean, when I was in middle school, I thought it was cool to be the bad guy. I thought it was funny. But it's not when you get older and you realize like, hey, I really gotta take care of somebody, a kid or Cause that's what you go around seeing. That's what you grow up seeing, bro. If you, if when you, if you stay, if you was, if you lived in Prince George's County, bro, you lived in PG, bro, and you lived, you lived in these motherfucking red zones, bro. You not seeing what normal kids is seeing that don't live in the red zones, bro. You not in no big ass house. You don't got your mother and your father. You not on whatever. Your your mother ain't chasing your father down for child support. You not living off welfare. You not this, that, and the third, bro. 
You seeing you seeing the dough boys get bread, pull up bad bitches, all that shit. That shit that shit happening right in front of your face, bro. Right in front of your motherfucking face. What you what you what you supposed to do? How young were you when you first witnessed a violent act? I was like eight or nine. When I was looking out the window, we just seen somebody arguing. The next thing you know, we see a hand raising, just a flash. We heard more shots. We jumped out the window, like man, that shit crazy. You guys told me a little bit about, but what's the lingo in the area? Anything else I missed? Yeah, we got our own lingo. Yeah, I got their own lingo. Like, I be like saying, what's up, though? Like, shit, boss. Because I only know some of the Milwaukee's. Uh, we from Milwaukee. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Lingo down there. Smacking that shit. Yeah. <laughs> what's up, brother? That's another one. Oh, all right. Brother. <laughs> <laughs> he added an extra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there is a, a rapper that used to be signed to Gucci Mane's record label. Oh, He's yeah, got multiple. <laughs> he a wild nigga. Stay away. He okay. <laughs> I'll tell Tommy. <laughs> wild nigga. Stay away. <laughs> There's a rapper named Lil Wop that used to be signed. Does he have a little Wop? I mean, now he's about to have no Wop, but um. Hey man, no freaky shit on this shit, man. How old were you when you got your? <laughs> Oh, I'm tripping. I ain't even showed up. Y'all go there. <laughs> bro, we don't play that shit, bro. We don't play that shit, man. <laughs> he added an extra. <laughs> so there is a, a rapper he's, that used to be been signed wearing to this black shit. Oh, he's yeah, got no, multiple. We don't... <laughs> he a wild nigga. Stay away. He over there. I mean, I'll tell Tommy. There's a rapper named Lil Wop that used to be signed. Does he have a little Wop? I mean, now he's about to have no Wop, but... Um... <laughs> hey, man. No freaky shit, shit on this shit, man. How old were you when you got your first face tattoo? <laughs> 17. And do you remember which one was your oh, first? My, yeah, my first tattoo was the dove. It's a dove right here, right? And where's that Sam for? That's what my brother C. Diddy, he passed away. My little bro. He had an Audi in high school. I got this in jail. I got this in jail. Oh, someone actually did it while in jail? Yeah, yeah hell yeah. I got my whole body done in jail for real. Yeah? I wish I ain't never did this shit. Really? Yeah, f yeah. I could be a model or something on it. And, and everybody's so judgmental about what the f you look like. Yeah, they judge your sure. friends before they, they, they even talk to you. So what what kind of judgments have people made about I you? I swear, that? bro, he had to go to White. If he if he if he from Suitland, bro, he probably went to Suitland High, but if he didn't, he went to Wise, bro. I I, I think I know who the fuck that is, bro. I just came up with his name. Based off your face tattoos. Slow, gotta be a dumbass rival. Don't know how to talk. Trying to be too tough. Trying to use a scare tactic. Whatever the f you think about it. Mm. Niggas don't even be on it though. I got all this shit because I just because I wanted it. Yeah. We've been waiting on this playground, waiting for titties to show up. Where do you think titties is right now? I was starting to doubt you, Titties. Oh, no, nah, don't doubt me, man. Get with me. Don't shit. <laughs> Give me no shit. If you got me, nigga, get me. You have some good catchphrases, Titties. Yeah. I mean, that's guys. security. That's security. No, man, no. <laughs> Just act normal, man. Everybody I was saying, this, this act normal, man. <laughs> this, this chicken, bro. Come on, oh, man. Cute. Get a medium pepperoni pizza meatball sub with the new Firehouse Subs app. Y'all in the Netflix. documentary now. Y'all about to be on Netflix. Yeah, we gotta do an interview. Y'all about to be on Netflix. I'm telling people where we're at, right? No comment. No comment, man. I'm about to pop some more. I ain't got no cups, man. About to pop the bottle of mo. Flock over here popping. What is that? Get you some Don Julio. You a Julio. If you don't drink Don Julio. Don't die, man. Go ahead, Slim. You one of us now, Slim. And hey, you one of us, you, you standing outside, you uh, take your shot, live right, live righteous, live righteous. You hate that? Say it right. Yeah. Man, Gorilla Gang cool with me, man, for life, man. There is one thing I've noticed about uh, the hoods. For instance, I was just hanging out with uh, somebody in D.C. They said you can't eat hot dogs, you can't eat no, popsicles, boy, you can't no eat... No, fuck no. Not in front of no other man. We like, bruh, we don't do none of that. Like anything. Nah, bruh. Nah, bruh. If you gonna eat a banana, break that bitch up. If you eat a hot dog or some shit like that, hot dogs and beans, cut that bitch up, put the beans in there, struggle meal. You already know what it is, bruh. Don't not. No popsicles, none of that shit, bruh. Use a grown man. Why is you putting that in your mouth like that? Bananas. No time. Unless you listen to that, Glizzy, you ain't doing no eating no glizzies out here, this motherfucker. So. <laughs> 
the cameras. All this gay <laughs> shit, nah, man. We're at a stage right now where it feels like stuff like Pride Month and LGBT is kind of yeah. shoved in our faces a lot. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? They just need to stay doing their own thing while everybody else do their own thing. Like I, like I said, they invisible. I don't see them. So right now it's Pride Month. What do you think about that? Same thing I think about any other month. It got to go on. I don't really give a fuck. What's your favorite month of the year? Don't really give a fuck. We not with this shit. Stop playing with us. December. What's up? My daughter's birthday. Are there any conspiracy theories you believe in? Hell yeah. Well, all of them. Straight up. <laughs> all of them. Cartoon drinks. Every, I believe in all that shit. Did Jeffrey Epstein kill himself? He's a vampire. He's I'm Andrew like, Jackson. I shouldn't even be saying like, this shit. Hold up. Hey, did we land on the moon? Nope. All right, where are we heading to next? To the studio. Bring your to bars. Let's go. Different. So, I was like, that was somehow, like the harbor though. Like we're that going was like from the like hobble. gangster rap land to, about to be next Ill. to like a Chevrolet dealer out in the sticks. DJ Tommy G out here. Why Where did you bring us, big? <laughs> talking into the water bottle, bro. <laughs> Block. We look like we're in the sticks right now. We are in the semi sticks right now, my boy. We are about to go in and do a rap song, and I'm about to punish you on the beat. You ready? <laughs> okay, let's, let's go. Let's go. I'm about to go to the smoke shop first. Fat Munchies by my manager, Avery. These are my fit ass that I made. It's the monkey shit right here. Anybody know what size Fat they wear? I'm gonna get you a gift to take home. Well, so what are we looking at right now, fellas? This that is called. This that is, box uh, like that though. The Fat Monty's and for Reapers only. Cross brand line. We all for have Reapers? the same line. For Reapers only. This would be my hat right here. Little burning turtle down on the front. Be right here. So you got a clothing line. Yeah, I got clothing line, hat line, vending machines. I rap. I do other things. I do everything. To be honest. Well, there you go. There you go. Hey, look, I'm like Vanilla Ice 2023. Okay. We have come down here. Make sure you cut fat munchies, no matter what. Y'all look cool. Sheesh. What's the song that you made in here that you're like, this is my shit? You want to hear it right now? Yeah. A little bit. We in the field like a football team, like it's good I ain't got me back in 88. I got the boot if you try and get your roll on. Come on, this rip, you better bring his case. Like, this gave me the keys to a place to eat up the thing. Bruh. That ain't no hate. It ain't no hate, bruh. It ain't never no hate. But you got to come with the respect first. You got to know what's going on, bruh. Got to know what the fuck going on. Niggas got a mind of their own. Brandon and I had no idea that we were expected to join Big Flock on a song. The producer put on a beat and told us we had 15 minutes to get a verse ready. Here's what happened. When you call, we in the spot, we not in the band, though. BG keep a dog, is no... Uh, uh, BG keep a dog... Uh, uh, BG keep a dog, is not a cock of spaniel. God damn. <laughs> it's murder for money, we armed and we dangerous. Uh, uh. I'm a big dog, can't put me on a leash. Let's go right before the, right before it tap me in. God damn. Why is that special? I'm a big dog, can't put me on a leash. I'm hot out my city, I'm bringing the heat. They step against me, then I leave them deceased. I am a beast, I am a freak. Freaky ass. <laughs> 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 okay, go again. I could just come in for three bars and back to him. Okay. I gotta hear it though. You know what I'm saying? I gotta hear what I'm working with. What's going through your mind right now, Big Fly? It's just funny as hell. It's like, <clears throat> that whole swag is different right now. Yeah, it's tripping. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey. Big flock, watch how you talk, get pop like rocks. Even Whoa, the cops can damn. stop on the block. Kid is a bitch, he don't want to box. Uh. God damn, <laughs> are you dissing me? Probably a good idea to avoid uh, doing a big flock this. I'm not dissing That's him, I'm, I'm I, I thought I was repping you by being like, shouting you out like, big flock. Brandon, give an honest appraisal of our performance right now. We are in a booth with a certified games rapper. For some reason, we are also on the song. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know how this happened. I used to film music videos in the DMV and now I'm about to be in a music video, but uh, me and Tommy have been back to back to back filming videos the past three days. We're not, exhausted as fuck, Not bro. sleeping, not eating right. Uh, so I don't really even know what's going on. Give an honest assessment of our performance so far. 
Do you feel like this song can, is gonna hit? It definitely has potential. People want to hear us rap. People want to see that I gap. Like crazy motherfucker though. I don't like how You can switch your tone. Like work with me. Like show me what you're gonna rap next and work with me. Get on the... No, Get on don't, do don't do that. <laughs> Be straight with me and Brad. How are we doing in here? Needs work. White boy fresh out there was not impressed with any of our bars. Okay. He said he said we needed work. And he said, Of course, we need work. He said, All of us? No, no, just. He's always doing all of us. Look at his age. He's doing all of us? Shit. Look up like that. Damn, I ain't fing it up. That's probably good, to be honest. Okay, yeah. Because yeah. he cut it. Because the clock ended the, okay. the verse. So. Yeah, I trust you. He thinks we got maybe a C minus or a D plus. So D minus. Hey, how did I, how did we do? Man, y'all did it's like okay? that, nigga. That's a motherfucking platinum. Yeah. Man, that's a platinum motherfucking track, nigga. Watch how you talk, get pop like rocks. Even the cops can't stop on the block. Kid is a bitch, he don't want to box. Give a fuck about a copy, I can slang it at top. I got me the voice, I'm the modern day. Alright, y'all, that's it, man. And like I said, man, if y'all want me to do a, a story time, bro, I'll give y'all some stories. Uh, when I was living in Merlin, you feel what I'm saying? That's where I'm originally from, PG County, Merlin. Uh, I've, I've been around on the D.C. side a few times, you know what I'm saying? It's right there, like... So, shit, you know what I'm saying? If you, wanna, if you want some of them type of videos, let me know in the comment section below. Um, yeah, man. And we out of here, bro. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. See you in the next one. You dig?